Atlanta rapper T.I. was officially released from a low security federal prison in Forest City, Arkansas yesterday. The rapper, born Clifford Harris Jr., reported to Disney's Charities Atlanta West Correctional Center, where he will spend three months. T.I. was sentenced to 366 days in prison after an October 2007 incident in which federal agents caught him attempting to purchase machine guns and silencers. After he has finished his stay at Dismas Charities Atlanta West, the rapper must complete 500 hours of community service in addition to another 23 days of house arrest. According to reports, T.I. is expected to work during the three months that he is confined to the halfway house. It was ladies night and the feeling was right in Cuba on Sunday as Cool in the Gang became one of the few U.S. musical acts to perform in the communist country amid Washington's travel restrictions and the island's ambivalence toward American music. Robert Cool Bell, his brother Khalees Bryan, saxophonist Dennis Thomas, and drummer George Funky Brown took to the stage at open air anti-imperialist plaza which sits in front of the U.S. entrance section in Havana. According to the Associated Press, thousands of spectators stretched down the city's Storland Malcolm Costa Boulevard while other fans, many of them middle-aged with children in tow, danced and jumped up and down to the music while tenants in nearby apartment buildings watched from the balconies. We are all about the music. We travel the world and our message is love, understanding, and unity, Cool said, before taking the stage for a performance authorized by the U.S. government. We don't come as politicians, we come as musicians. On Friday, December 18th, MTV named Michael Jackson the Man of the Year. And not just because his death was the biggest story of 2009. In passing, he reminded us all of his formidable legacy as a musician, a showman, and a cultural icon. He revolutionized the world of music videos, wild fans around the world, and somewhere along the way, helped a fledging cable channel called MTV to establish a foothold in the world. For all of those reasons, not to mention a few more, Jackson's surviving brothers think MTV News made the right call. Jermaine Jackson thinks it's a great idea because Mike was a pioneer. And he really feels that Mike put MTV on the map because of his contributions to the music. Marlon also agreed, though he added that Michael should have also been remembered for something else, his charitable work most of which he did not participate because he knew it would earn him headlines, but because it was simply the right thing to do. There are so many other things too. Michael and the brothers, when they were the Jackson Five, used to go to children's hospitals, and that hasn't stopped. As Marlon reports, a lot of people didn't know about all the different charities that Mike paid for. A lot of celebrities, when they had passed and could not afford to bury themselves, Mike would pay for. The Lord put you in a position to help others, and as far as Michael is concerned, that's part of helping others.